In this video, you will learn about L2 regularization. It is a rich regression. It doesn't shrink the model coefficient to zero, but it shrinks the coefficients towards zero. Features whose coefficients are close to zero can be removed from the model because they are less significant. This way, L2 helps us to reduce the dimensions and select the best features for our model. Let's import pandas as PD. I'll make one variable df and I'll read the CSV file pd.readcsv. Inside this, I will pass the CSV file name which is wine.csv. Let us look at the head of our data frame. So we have this data frame here and we have this columns alcohol, malic acid, ash and so on. And target is our target variable. So we need to predict the uh, class of this wine category or using this target variable. The ne next step is we will check the shape of a data frame. So I will write here df.shape and here in the output you will see we have 178 rows and 14 columns. We will also check if there are any missing values. So I will write here df.isnull.sum and here in the output you will see we don't see any missing values here. So these are the column names and against each column we are getting zero. That means there are no missing values present. The next step is to split this data frame into X and Y. In X, we will have all the independent variables and in Y, we will have the de dependent variable. So I will write here X, df.iloc. I want all the rows, so I will type here colon. I want columns from 0 up to 30. So I will write here 0 up to 30. In Y, I just want the target variable, so I will write here df.iloc all the rows and we just want the last column which is a target column that is why i will write here minus one so now we have this x and y the next step is to split this x and y into train test so now let's do that i will import from sklearn dot model selection import train test split now i'm going to write x train x test y train and y test then i will call the function train test split inside this i will pass x and y then i will pass the test size i want to keep 30 percent as the test size i will write here 0 0.3 then the next parameter is random state and this can be any value triple one if you want your result to be same as mine then you also have to write triple one let us execute our code now we will start with the L2, the L2 regularization and for that first I will import from sklearn.feature selection import select from model. This class will help us to find the significant variables and then from sklearn.linear model import logistic regression. So one thing I would like to tell you that by default logistic regression uses the L2 regularization or the L2 penalty. So let's do that. I will make one variable SCL and then I will call this class select from model. Inside this I will call the function call the algorithm logistic regression and inside this I will pass the parameter. The first parameter is penalty. And by default it is L2 and even then I will write L2 here because we are using the L2. Then we will pass the parameter C and C is going to be 10. And then we can use the solver and solver can be liblinear. Now let us execute the code. And before I move ahead I will tell you what this parameter means. So here C, it is the strength of the regularization or the penalty and it works in the opposite way. If you keep the value of C high, the penalty will be low and if you keep this value of C low, then the penalty will be high and we will see how it works. And then we have this solver is equal to live linear. So live linear is used for optimization and especially for the sm small data set, live linear is a good choice and since our data set is small, so we are using this live linear. And we will now uh, do the, we will you know change the value of C and we will see how significant variables we are getting. So first we will keep the value of C is equal to 10. And now let's fit the, uh, now let's fit it on the X train and Y train. So I will call this SCL dot fit. 
and inside this I will pass X train and then Y train. Now let us execute our code and now we will see what are the features or the significant features. So from this we will call this method select dot get features names out. So you will see here it says that these are the significant features for this model and if you want to check how many of them are so we will just copy this code from here. I will call the length function and inside this I will paste it and I will run it. So it says that there are seven features which are significant and here the value of C is 10. So as I've said that if the value of C is high the penalty will be low and if the value of C is low the penalty will be high. So if we want to reduce the number of significant features we will reduce the value of C so that the penalty will become very high. Now instead of 10 I will use C and now I will run this code again. So I'm running this again. So I, earlier we have this 7 and if I call this function again. So it says that now there are only 4 significant features in this model. So you have seen that how the value of C works and if I make it 0.5 then let's see. But here in this case 0.5 the penalty will be very high and let's see how many features we get. So we are getting 4 features only. We will have to reduce the value of uh, C so maybe 0.1. Uh, no it, it is not working. It is saying that uh, 5 features will be significant so we will just keep it at uh, 5 only because that means now at 0.1 it is overfitting actually. So when it is overfitting it is giving you 5 features so I will write here. 0.5 only so this is the best one because after this is best one because when we are decreasing the value of c here we are not seeing the significant variables are decreasing instead we saw that the significant variable got increased from 4 it became 5 that means now the model is overfitting so we have to keep the value of c which is optimal and here we see that 0.5 seems to be an optimal value but not 0.1 so now in our model we have these four features which are significant and there is one more uh, function here select get support and if I call this function so it will give you true and false. True means those features are significant and false means those features are not significant and if I call this x underscore train dot columns so it says that the first column is not significant which is L call. The second column is true that means it is significant which is malic acid and you will see here we got the malic acid here. Then we have this one, two, three, four columns are not significant and then fifth one is significant. So that fifth one is uh, if we see here that is uh, flavonoid. So this one. So this true and false indicates that if a column is significant then it will be true otherwise it will be false. And now we are going to fit the model. And before we fit the model, what we will do, we will transform this X train and X test. So I will make one new variable X train one, and then I will call this select dot transform X train. This is the original one. So what we are doing here in this X train, we have total 13 features and in X train one, we will have only four features which are significant. And similarly for X test, we will make one new X test one and then select dot transform x test and then I will call this so I will show you the difference so x train 1 dot shape and then x train dot shape so you will see in this original x train we have 13 features and in the x train 1 dot shape we have only 4 features so these are the significant features and these are all the features including the significant one that is why we are just going to use the transform one and now let's fit the data set and see how much accuracy we are getting. <coughs> so I will call this uh, I'll, I'll make an object of the class logistic regression so I will make one object GLM and then I will call logistic regression and then I will call this GLM dot fit on this X train X train one and Y train. Now I'm going to make prediction and save the result here in ypred so I will write here glm dot predict and then x test one 
and now we will check the accuracy and for that we will import the accuracy score from sklearn.matrix import i'll explain you what we have done so far accuracy score now i will call this accuracy score here and we will pass our y test and y pred so here you will see we got the accuracy of 85 percent and i think it is less because the model is overfitting i guess if i change the value of c to 0 0.1 and uh, not 1 0 0.1 1 so let me see how many variables we are getting so still we are getting five four variables only and if i make it five so we are getting five here and let us run the code and now let us check the accuracy so earlier we are getting 85 and now let's see so still we are getting 85 and if i make it 7 so we have seven features now and let's see if we see any improvement in the accuracy so here now you see that the accuracy improved from 80 percent to 90 percent so you have to play with the different values of c and then you have to see at what value of c you are getting the high accuracy so we have seen here for the value of c is equal to 0 0.5 we were getting an accuracy of 85 percent but now at the value of c is equal to 7 we are getting an accuracy of 90 percent that means you have to try different combinations of value for c and then you can select the best one so what we are doing here is we are calling this data set we are splitting into train and test and then with the help of this uh, select from model and applying the logistic regression the penalty l12 we're trying to find what are the features which are significant with, for this model and from this we found that there are seven significant features in the model so what we did then then we transformed the original x train and x train and saved in this new object so in this new object we have only variables which are significant then we have fit this logistic regression on this transformed x train and uh, y train and then we got the accuracy which is 90 percent so you can try different combinations of c and then you will see what best results you are getting i hope you enjoyed this video if you like my video you can subscribe to my channel thank you for watching